What up, peeps? Tony Baker here, back with another movie review. This time I'm reviewing 1917, a World War I flick directed by Sam Mendes, okay? It's pretty much a story about two soldiers who get recruited to relay information to part of the English army that they shouldn't advance on the retreating German front because it's a trap. So he's gotta be like, yo, let them know, do not advance anymore, it's a trap. Pull back, hang tight, or else 1,600 British soldiers are getting murdered, including your brother. And so they gotta run and deliver that message because the phone lines are down. And it's, it's not as simple as the phone, they cut the phone lines. It's just, you know, they had no way of communicating that. So they just sent in two soldiers. Like, why are you just sending two? Because y'all travel much faster when it's just a couple of y'all. So they gotta get through, you know, this war-torn countryside to go relay this message or else 1,600 soldiers are gonna be in risk. They're gonna get slaughtered. Sam Mendes, he's directed Road to Perdition, American Beauty, Skyfall, Spectre, and so he's back with this. Now, when you look at the trailer for 1917, you know, Dunkirk comes to mind. Film that came out a few years ago, directed by Christopher Nolan. It came to mind immediately, like when you see World War One. A lot of people confuse World War One and Two together as one war. You know, World War One was earlier, of course. That's why it's one and not two. So you just chalk it up to another war flick. And war flicks come out all the time. Like, uh, filmmakers are obsessed with World War II, one, all of that. And so here we are. Now the fresh thing about this one is, it's set up to look like one continuous tracking shot, the whole movie. The entire movie looks like it's just one continuous tracking shot, which is pretty damn amazing. Even though it's not, you gotta kinda find where they cut it, but it's still, you know, you just marvel at that level of filmmaking. And uh, it's, it's a good, it's a good movie. It's like, you know, he's racing against the clock. He's got to get the message here. Desperate times, you know, they, they, they have to do this. And so they got a certain amount of time and you're just on the edge of your seat hoping that he can deliver the message in time. And like, there's some jump scares in this. It's a, it's a perilous journey. And like, I, I jumped like a couple times in this. Cause you don't know what's gonna happen. You feel like you're a part of this mission team. And I feel like Sam Mendes did a great job conveying that. Like this, this movie is not star driven. It's not star heavy. The two leads is, are cast, I don't even know. I don't even know who they are. One of them looked familiar. The other guy, I'm like, I don't know if I've seen him. And you got Benedict Cumberbatch in there real quick. Mark Strong real quick, but Colin Firth real quick. But that's it, you know, so the storyline really drives this plot, and it's good. I like World War II and World War I stuff. I, I like it because those were very interesting wars, and especially two. Two is probably my favorite war. Not to say, not to talk about war like it's some kind of comic book collection or because it's based in real life and real tragedy and real, but that's my, that's the most fascinating war to me. Um, is that war. Like, when you go back further to like the BCs and the, there's some interesting wars back then, but World War II, you can put visuals to it, like for real, for real. And like, they, they resonated a lot longer. And I think that movie really taps into that. Me personally, one of the takeaways from this movie is, man, nine miles can seem like forever when you're, when you're running through a war field. Nine miles, you'd be like, nine miles? Okay, that's far, but I can do it. You know, I can go from nine miles is nothing. It's like a hike with your friends. No, imagine nine miles where everything's trying to kill you. That nine miles, you're gonna feel every block. Okay, nine miles, Jesus. Another takeaway is, man, just, I think about the food in these situations. Like, how are soldiers eating? Like, how, how was the diet? Were they, were they malnourished? The food, the rations, all of that. That's what, like, yo, what we eat? That's me on the mission. Like, you know what I'm saying? We, we need you two to deliver the message. But like, that's great, but uh, will I get snacks for this mission? I gotta put some snacks in my backpack. So, Colonel, Captain, Colonel, you, you, you got some kernels in that, in that bag? What, what, what about the snacks? But like, can you save the lives of these 600 soldiers? But like, yeah, but 
Yo, go get me some snacks, some crackers, graham crackers. At, at least, you know, to carry me through this perilous journey. Hmm? Hmm? Some eggs. I know eggs won't travel well, but just give me some bread. Just, just some bread pieces. Rye, sourdough, nothing. All right, fine. I'll do the mission, but I just need snacks. That's my biggest issue. This movie, in my opinion, is better than Dunkirk. It, 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 the pacing was better. I was just more invested. Dunkirk, shout out to Christopher Nolan. He's one of my favorite filmmakers. But Dunkirk, I, I'll admit, I was dozing. I was just like drifting off. I was like, all right. I just wasn't all in. My favorite war pick of all time is still Saving Private Ryan. But 1917 is a good good entry in there. But forget all that. Y'all want to know the smooth jazz review of 1917. Well, here it is. Oh, yeah. I'm giving 1917 four saxophones out of five. Man, man. Somebody give you that nine-mile mission, man. Make sure your snacks is up to par. That's all I'm saying. All right, peeps, that's my review of 1917. Let me know what you thought of the movie in the comments section below. What'd you think of Dunkirk? If you saw both of them, which one did you like better? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, what's your favorite war film of all time? My, fa my two favorite are probably Saving Private Ryan for sure, and I really like Platoon a lot. You know what I'm saying? But y'all let me know your top two. Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and as usual, we out of here.